So this morning, WTI is on the cusp of bear market. We saw prices at $75 in April. Do you think that was the peak, or do you think we could see prices higher for the rest of the year? Gosh, um, obviously we've come down a long way. Um, yes, you know, we've got this one of these very difficult times in the oil markets where the flows, the financial flows, are obviously been negative, trade wars and all the rest of it, um, and, um, you know, understandably. Um, and yet the front end, as you look at the Brent spreads, is pretty good still. Demand is relatively solid. Obviously, there are one or two cracks, but it doesn't look bad. So, you know, I almost feel it's almost too early to rule out a, a recovery uh, of price. And, and I think, um, as I said, it's, it's a very exceptional time where particularly macro flows and some of the systemic trading is, has all been in the negative direction. So you see demand growth holding? Because lots of concern about the trade war between Beijing no, and China, listen, now also Mexico and India, Trump uh, is after. Uh, absolutely. Listen, all, and all these things are concerns. But overall, demand, you know, China maybe only rose 6%, but 6% is still a big bit of growth. And obviously some of that will be oil. So I, I think we're not totally negative on the fundamentals at this moment in time. But obviously, you know, we have to be pretty careful about positioning on, 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 on things like flat price. How much do you see demand year on year up? Well, obviously, that, that is what we're looking at. I mean, obviously, we, we've always been carrying numbers slightly below everybody else, but we're still above a million. Um, you know, we, we, we think that will still happen. But, yeah, we, we, it's obviously come off a little bit um, in the last two or three months. Um, given the supply side concerns, yeah. ranging from Tehran to Caracas yeah. to even Russian yeah. contaminated oil. Which is quite big, by the way. Yeah, many thought that OPEC would have to increase production. Yeah. But now with this demand story, many are saying they might have to keep a lid yeah. on exports. Yeah. What do you think OPEC should do in a few weeks when they meet in Vienna? Oof, that's a, you have to ask OPEC that. You know. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, obviously, I think, I think we, we probably expect them to roll. Mm. You know, and it's the easiest thing to do. Um, obviously, they, they want to leave the decision very late, which is understandable. Um, you know, obviously, we are expecting some more U.S. shale exports in the second half of the year as some of the big pipelines get going. Um, but I think the role is probably at this moment in time, you know, most likely. Yeah, in the second half of the year, we're going to get, I think, three pipelines out of the yep. Permian. So we're going to yep. get a lot of U.S. shale. Yep. How do you see U.S. production and exports in the second half of the year? Well, if everything comes on stream, um, which I think is still a little bit of an if, um, it, it will go up. Um, you know, does it go up by three, four hundred, or does it go up by even more? But it, it certainly goes up, and I think you know that is obviously one of the negative. Now, obviously, we expected demand to go up by enough to compensate for that, um, but that is one of the key things that we'll have to look at very carefully going forward.